Hi guys, Sharper back once again with another Mint in Box for TokyoToyStore.com And today we're going to be looking at Kamen Rider Cross Magma This is Ryuga Banjo's final form which debuted in around episode 30, 31 I think It was fairly late in the game But it's an upgrade to his original Cross form and it's a lot better than the uh, the jelly one, the splash driver one. I forget what that's called, but it's a lot better than that. I think it's more thematically appropriate. And box is pretty nice. It's orange and black, orange, black and white. Kind of my colours. Kind of like the box. And yeah, it's your standard RKF box. So we're just going to jump straight to the figure. Now immediately what you're going to be presented with is this figure that has a very weird texture about him. Like the orange plastic looks almost metallic, but it I don't think it actually is, but what it is, is translucent. So if I just bring in one of my lamps, you can see the plastic is totally light piped. That's brilliant. I mean, Ryuga's already a hot-headed shonen, this just takes him over the edge. But yeah, I think it's a great form. They did a lot of good looks-wise to get the point across. A very nice balance of the black and the orange with the limitations of the RKF line. So I think they did a fantastic job with this figure. He's got little magma wings. Which uh, are neat. You have to be put on that way. And in terms of articulation, you've got the wings, obviously. His arms have a full 360. He's got an elbow. He's got another elbow. He's got a wrist. He's got an ab crunch. No waist swivel. Ball jointed hips. A nice deep knee joint and his feet sees are on ball joints so standard RKF there which will give you a fair amount of posability for this guy and since he's designated punch boy for build you're going to need that to really get him into a nice striking pose but given how the RKF line has been designed you're not going to struggle with that too much Magma comes with four accessories an alternate build driver the magma knuckle and two interchangeable hands so let's just swap those out now you've got a big splayed open hand and you also have a holding things hand which has a nice little peg in the hand so we're going to swap out the driver which is just a pop off And then we can put the magma knuckle in his right hand. It's nice and effective, it shows off his weapon. It's got some detail about it, but not much. It's very muddied because of the intricate detail. And the driver just looks like an empty driver. But yeah, I think this is a fantastic little figure. A very cool looking figure as well but there's something that I, I've wanted to do for a while now and Jeremy the owner of Tokyo Toy Story has actually given me the opportunity to do so so I'm going to bring in the Sodo Cross Z Magma just as a comparison because obviously these are your budget lines and they do share some similarities but at the end of the day you're paying for two different experiences like this is good but this is also good let's just talk about the soda one for a little bit because these are like little candy toy model kits and I do appreciate what they do for such a small price point the articulation is pretty nice 
<laughs> break his arm. <laughs> the magma knuckle, I think, actually looks better in this version. Yeah, all the detail is just a big sticker, but like the actual molded detail is a lot better, I think, on this version. Like some of the details are a little clearer, but there are limitations. Like there's there's a waist swivel, but there's no ab crunch, and his head just goes side to side. There's no up or down action. His wings are also pretty static. But for the smaller price point, I think this is also a good alternative to like getting a figure art figure. Why, why does this feel so off center? Yeah, I, I, I like this, and I also like this. Personally, I'd go for the RKF, just to keep the uh, scale in line. But the, the Sodo version also has a nice feel to it. I do like the more dynamic range of colours on it. But I'm not a fan of the limitations in the head. Like, he just looks like he's looking down all the time. And I don't think that's as good as the RKF. But again, two different price points. And they're both budget lines. So depending on what you want out of a figure is what you'll decide on. And in terms of pricing, you can pick up Cross Magma from TokyoToyStore.com for £24.99 and I think that's a fair enough price as always I've been Sharpo this has been Common Rider Cross Magma from the Rider Kicks figure series and I'll catch you guys next time on Mint in Box Mint in Box